This video provides a brief overview of how Avere tracks changes between construction plans and reality, and how you can use our tool to push those changes back to your BIM. Once the point cloud is uploaded, our algorithm gets to work comparing the reality capture data to the provided BIM. We display the results and analysis within our online customer portal. Our first step is to select the Avere inspection mode. You'll immediately notice a change in color scheme. Items in red, which we refer to as deviations, have been constructed outside of the selected tolerance. We can adjust the tolerance down to 1 8 of an inch. You'll notice that as I decrease the tolerance, the number of items in red increases. This allows you to focus on what is most important depending on the requirements of your project. To review each deviation, we can select the item from the list of deviations or select the model element directly. Once selected, you'll notice that a new copy of the BIM element is displayed in orange. This geometry represents where the element was found to be in reality, based on our algorithm's automatic point cloud comparison to the BIM. We can turn on the point cloud to verify that the element is located correctly. If a user would like to make manual adjustments to our automatic placement of the BIM element, this can be achieved by toggling on the Adjust Element Position option. Let's review another common example. Here we can see that a run of ductwork has deviated by more than 5 inches to the right. We can turn on the point cloud again to ensure this analysis is correct. When I zoom around this piece of ductwork, you can see the clear edge of the point cloud aligning with the as-built geometry to validate the Avere algorithm. With this information, users have a few options. First, they may choose to direct the field to make corrections. Second, they can dismiss the issue entirely. Or third, we can accept the deviation and update the BIM to ensure accurate as-builts. To update your BIM, you can select the Push to BIM option here. You'll notice that once selected, the item is now purple, indicating that its new location will be included in the as-built IFC. To export your new as-built geometry, simply navigate to the Exports and Reports drop-down menu and select Export As-Built IFC. You can then import your IFC into your native authoring tool to generate accurate as-builts. In this example, you may have noticed that the deviated ductwork will cause a clash with future piping. To prevent downstream rework and the associated budget and schedule impacts, we can essentially run a clash detection of the deviated elements versus future elements and report on which deviations will cause downstream clashes. We call this report our impact analysis report. This analysis takes all of the detected deviations and filters down to changes that could potentially cause rework, allowing project teams to spend less time finding issues and more time resolving them. Thank you for watching our demo of Avir Inspect. If you have any questions or are interested in a live demo, please reach out to sales at avir.io.